An emergency report issued last week by the Baltimore City Office of the Inspector General revealed DPW employees at a site in Cherry Hill were working in some dangerously hot conditions. Since then, the Inspector General tells WMAR2 News complaints have continued coming in from employees at other facilities. WMAR2 News' Elizabeth Worthington has the latest. Broken ice machines, broken water fountains, broken AC. These were the conditions uncovered by the Baltimore Inspector General at the DPW yard in Cherry Hill. There was really almost no place for relief. Isabel Cumming published the report last week after several site visits in June and early July, originally prompted by worker complaints. On the final visit, the city was under a code red extreme heat alert. No fresh water was provided that day, according to the report. It was just warm, warm bottles floating in a trash bucket. We also found that all the water fountains weren't working. We found in, in their, their bathroom there was no cold water, it was only hot water, and it was 84 degrees in their break room. We also found that the cooling station wasn't working at all. Following the report, the DPW issued a statement about steps it had been taking to address the problem. A new ice machine had been delivered, portable air conditioning units were working properly, and supervisors were making water deliveries to employees. The DPW also said ultimately the site requires upgrades, and the department is in the design phase of those improvements. But complaints continued coming in to the Inspector General's office from employees at other DPW facilities. It's definitely not limited to one location. As temperatures reached triple digits, Cumming and her team visited nine additional DPW yards on Tuesday morning. I think that we all have to realize that these workers are some of the hardest workers we have and they work in very difficult condition because they are considered essential employees. I mean, keeping Baltimore clean and, and sanitary and these are just important and vital functions for any city. So. Um, it's just a huge wake up call that this has to be done and it has to become a priority within the city. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WAR 2 News.